Hi everyone. In this video, we will learn about uh, WinXCOM software. So this is the interface of WinXCOM software. So what is the use of WinXCOM software? It calculates uh, table of cross sections for the interaction of photons with any element or compounds or mixtures. For photons with energies in the range of 1 kilo electron volt to 100 giga electron volt. So your interaction coefficients and total attenuation coefficients for compounds mixtures are obtained as sums of corresponding quantities for the atomic constituents. Okay, uh, and the program uh, can generate cross sections and attenuation coefficients on the standard energy grid. So as I told the energy range is 1 kilo electron volt to 100 giga electron volt. And these are uh, the theoretical values. If we want to do experimentally it is quite difficult. So one, and this is one of the very good software to have the um, cross sections and attenuation coefficients for uh, this extended energy range. So uh, experimentally it is uh, very difficult. Once we uh, have these values we can compare with the experimental values. Okay. The program which provides total cross sections and attenuation coefficients um, for partial cross sections as well uh, like incoherent scattering, coherent scattering, photoelectric absorption, prayer production. Um, uh, so all these partial cross sections also included to the total cross section uh, for coherent as well as incoherent. So I will show you further how these um, cross sections can be given for different energy range. And one more thing, this WinXCOM is a uh, software that was introduced by earlier Hubble and Selger and then it was uh, brought to the Windows platform by Leif Gerwald, Department of Physics, Technical University, Denmark. So this is all about introduction of uh, WinXCOM software. So let us uh, see how it exactly works. So here we have the file tab. Okay, we can save the files and you can just uh, uh, see the files, new files and this is edit tab. New compounds or mixtures if you want, you can create. Uh, so here view options. So how you want to extract these cross sections or attenuation coefficients in terms of different units. If you want in terms of bar you can select this one. If you want in terms of centimeter square uh, per gram you can click on this. Otherwise uh, partial interaction cross sections if you want you can click on this. So according to your requirements you can change these settings. So particular energy range if you have any energy range you can uh, copy the energies and just paste it here and automatically uh, after saving these settings you can uh, just generate the attenuation coefficients for the selected energies. Okay, if you have any messages or recent files you can just click if, if it is necessary. So these two are very important. In terms of uh, barn if you want or in, in terms of centimeter square per gram and custom energies for particular energies you can obtain the attenuation coefficients. So just uh, I have selected cross sections in barn per atom and attenuation coefficients in terms of centimeter square per gram. So just I will click on OK. Okay. And this is the help if you have any queries. Uh, you can just click on this tab you will get this solution so just uh, what we have to do for element so how many elements are there in periodic table around 108 all those elements for all those elements um, the scientists have been calculated and tabulated here the 
values of cross section so here uh, if you take hydrogen just we have to click uh, uh, double click on that any atom you, you will select there you, you can see this is the energy from 1 kilo electron volt to 100 giga electron volt and these are the partial cross sections okay coherent incoherent photoelectric absorption pair pair nuclear pair electron and this is the sum of incoherent inco scattering and this is sum of non coherent scattering so as we know all these processes some of them are coherent and some are incoherent so this is the column that will give the processes which are coherent processes and here some uh, uh, non coherent processes is given here total cross sections so as we can see coherent is also some and pair production that is uh, all about total uh, cross section for coherent processes pair production or compton scattering if we take that is uh, non coherent so some of them also uh, we can see okay then what next uh, is so like that you can select any other atoms oxygen you can see the values have been changed and just uh, if you go to the higher elements let us take zinc you can see so these uh, k these energies are going to be added uh, for these uh, high z materials but energy range however it must be 1 kV to 100 giga electron volt so like that you can uh, select the elements where which uh, exist in your selected compound for the study of uh, this photon interaction so if for example if you take h2o if you require uh, there you require two atoms h hydrogen and oxygen just you can select the attenuation coefficients for hydrogen then go for oxygen like that whichever the elements are there in your uh, compound just select them and after that what you have to do you have to export to click on export to ms excel so these values that are export uh, exported to ms excel so then only you can start the calculation otherwise it is not possible so these values you have to extract directly to the uh, ms excel they have given here uh, the option so that's why it is very helpful for the students so it will take a uh, few seconds to generate these values to the ms excel so after that you can just save them in one folder okay you can see these are transported to ms excel that's why uh, that credit goes to l gerward he has uh, brought into the windows platform okay so these values you can use it for your calculation whatever the uh, formulas are there uh, required formulas just you can put the values there and calculate the required parameters like effective atomic number and electron density then another element just you can select and click on export to ms excel like that you have to save the data after that uh, i will also sh show you uh, here if you have new compound just i will first uh, keep this okay compounds i will here also you can go or if you click edit new compound or mixtures if you have you can just uh, click on them sometimes you, you require mass attenuation of the total compound as I told H2O if you want the mass attenuation coefficient for H2O molecule just you have to click here molecular formula ok mm, here you can just go so H2O 
here itself they will show the uh, wave fraction and their more symbols hydrogen oxygen just click on ok you can see the mass attenuation coefficient for h2o has been generated like that you can just go to the export to ms excel and they save the data so this is about compound mixtures also it is useful mixtures uh, means how much portion of a particular element you are going to add compound itself the formula will be there mixture means if you want to add 10 percent of hydrogen or oxygen 3 percent like that you can select the weight fraction select whichever the elements you require now so i will select here carbon So you can change here the values, how much percentage you want. Let us take 2. Then um, I will select one more oxygen. You have to add here, click on this arrow mark. And then how much percentage you want to uh, mix with the carbon. 3 let us take. So after that just click on ok so you can see the values for uh, CO mixture carbon monoxide mixture has been generated and uh, you can save the data so like this you can obtain the mass attenuation coefficients and uh, cross sections for elements present in periodic table any of the elements and compounds new compound you can see h2o and mixture if you are new mixture for that also you can obtain so this is how win xcom is very useful for the researchers or the uh, students uh, those who want to calculate the required parameters like effective atomic number electron density and one more parameter called karma that is kinetic energy release per unit mass so it is very helpful for the researchers who are working on the interaction of these photons with element compounds or mixtures so i hope uh, this video is helpful